I've been here just over six years, since I stopped teaching. I enjoy introducing them to new things, new places, and finding out things they know, because it's amazing how many times they will say, I know that, we've been doing this at school, and it gives you a great feeling. I became a life member of the National Trust 38 years ago. I did say once I retired I would try and give something back and work for them. And that's what I've been doing for 10 years. In this room we do an hour-long proper Victorian lesson. Every day is different. Talk to a public in rooms and all of a sudden say, oh I used to have one of those. Or you have 75 year olds wanting to do some skipping or things like that. It's all totally different every time. I, th I think the role I'm doing now is uh, the one that I like the best because I see all the new volunteers and help them to uh, settle in when they, when they eventually come. I started volunteering as a way of, sort of working out what areas that I really enjoyed. So when it came to applying for jobs in the heritage sector, um, I had a good lot of experience behind me to support my qualifications um, so that I could get into the job. Uh, this is my ninth year. And for about six years I've been doing raffle tickets. I really like it. I, um, it passes my time away because I live on my own and I, I just enjoy meeting the public and speaking and you can have a laugh with them and it's really good. Yeah. You just learn a little bit at a time and um, add to your knowledge and even after 10 years you're still learning and that's I think part of the beauty of being a volunteer, you never finish learning. One of the wonderful things about volunteering at, at Sudbury, like a lot of National Trust places, is just the sheer variety of volunteer roles that we've got on offer. I mean, as a visitor, it's quite, quite possible that you'd come in and the person who helped you park your car, the person who drove the buggy down here, the person who took your ticket, through to the room guys that showed you around the museum, and everybody you meet on your day out could quite possibly all be volunteers. With my DMV, because I'm doing bonds, we had to do like three to six months of volunteering. I've been volunteering for two weeks here. I started last week. Yeah, it's really good. Meet new people. Learn a lot more of the history of it, and I'm really enjoying it. There's, there's things that we couldn't get done with without our volunteers. We had uh, quite a large group of volunteers who were trained up a couple of years back to do a book cleaning project. We had a book specialist come in and, and show them what they needed to do to look after the books and check the condition. So every now and then we'll have a big project come up. It's getting to know other people that, that are interested in the same things as them. Um, we, we run trips as well from Sudbury for volunteers for different places. You'll find that a lot of them will go to the houses that we go to. A lot of them just want to go on the shopping trips and that sort of thing. It's nice to be able to come into the hall and do things in the hall which you wouldn't normally be able to do. Um, it's just enjoyable. It makes everything come alive and it makes you realise how important it is to see this is not just the past but the future. So that's why I love doing it. I think that what we can offer volunteers at Sudbury is an opportunity to get out of it what they want. I like to listen carefully to what their motivations are for volunteering and what they want to get out of it so that we can work with them and their levels of expertise to, to, to firstly to give them a great experience but also our visitors as well. The enjoyment I get is by seeing people smile. Uh, and that's when you've helped them understand Sudbury and they've had a nice day out. It makes you get up, get dressed, put your face on, and come out and meet, meet the public. So it's good fun and they're a nice crowd. Yeah. Nice crowd I need people. to do a little more with my face than that. <laughs> it's a great way to either practice some skills, learn some new sort of skills and techniques or sort of refine existing ones to um, build up things for your CV and look for experience when you're looking for, for work or, or whatever you want to go into next. Right through to just a nice bunch of people to come and have a cup of tea with and spend a few hours talking about this wonderful building.
doing something like this is a great opportunity just to take time to say thank you to those volunteers that come in day in, day out. Whatever the weather, you know, it's, it's often a bit cold and a bit wet in Derbyshire, but they're still here with a smile on their face, making sure all the visitors have a nice day out with us. Mm -hmm.